this video is sponsored by Filmora and I got a very important and useful message from them. So you check it out before the end of this video. Hello my dear friends, Alex here from Alex Edis. So without wasting much of your time, break down the videos that you are going to use to create these transitions. Here are the most important tips for you to create this transition. The very main thing is you need the video clips with the same camera movement. So for a very good example, check out the clips that I have used in this example. All these videos are panning back or I can say zooming out. So for this transition to be effective, you need a good sequence of clips in this order. Alright, as you can see this video right here, it's moving forward instead of backwards. So what I did is I go to the speed and then reverse the clip. Alright, now that you have understand the type of clip that we need to pull up this transition, let us go on and work it out. Alright, so I've decided to use these two clips right here to use in this example. Alright, so the very first tip right here is to go to the transform tab on the first clip and then we have to do the keyframing. Add a keyframe on the very first frame of that video clip. And now increase the scale to something like 142 and on the very last frame, slightly increase that scale to something like 148. Alright, so you go a little down and increase the rotation to positive 15. And now you have to slow down and reduce the opacity to 50%. And now from this last keyframe right here, you need to count something like 40 frames and this definitely is going to depend with the frame rate that you are editing this video in. And if you are to follow me along, make sure you use the 25 FPS. Alright, so this is something like 2 seconds or they are actually 40 frames. Okay, so right here, you have to bring back the opacity to 100%. And right here, I'm going to advise you to ease out the last keyframe and the first keyframe, you just leave it like that. Okay, so this is the highlight of what we have done so far. Alright, so now go to the second video in the transition and on the very first frame add a keyframe. Now right here on the first keyframe of this second clip, we have to set the scale to 315. Leave the x axis at 0 and then set the y to 400. Again go ahead and set the rotation to 10. Go further down and set the opacity to 50%. And now I go to the very last frame and then reset everything. And we can just do that by resetting the transform. Okay, again you count the same distance like you have done in the first video. Count those 4 frames which is almost 2 seconds. And then right there you have to make your opacity 100%. This time around when this second clip is in the first keyframe. And then is out the last keyframe. Okay, so now this is what we have done. And here the keyframing part is done. Alright, so right now my dear friends, we are going to another important step, which is the speed ramping. Okay, starting with the second clip in the transition, double select and then go to the speed. Right here, instead of the uniform speed, you chose the speed ramping. Alright, for this second clip right here in the transition, my dear friends, I am going to delete these two points right here. This one as well as this one again. Alright, so I raise the first point right here to almost the maximum and then I make sure that I adjust this point right here to the correct size. Okay, so it lands. This is my graph here. Alright, going back to the first clip, we just use the same formula, but this time around, we have to raise the last point. And also because this clip is longer than the last clip, I will delete all the three points right here and just make it like this. And if you scroll down right here, you can manage the frame interpolation. We got these three options right here, but, but I prefer the optical flow. Now we are done the speed ramping and our transition is almost over. Now we are going to bring this second video right here below the first video and you must align the keyframes as the overlapping duration. Now the last thing you need right here before we preview the final transition is to add the effects. Alright, go to the effects right here and search for the rotation blur. Alright, drag it down above your clips. Alright, reduce the blur intensity to 3. And you add the keyframe at the center where the overlapping starts. Okay, some frames later, I just have to cut this. Okay, right there, you reduce the blur intensity actually to zero. And on the first frame, again, you reduce it to zero. Alright, so this is going to give that effect that the blur increases and then reduces. Okay, my dear friends, so before we check out the preview, here is the summary, which is going to give you the real understanding of this whole concept. Firstly, the purpose of the keyframes was to match up the size, which is the scales, the rotation, and the adjustments of the opacity. And secondly, the speed ramping being the key effect of this whole transition. Okay, so the issue right here is we are speeding up the video clip as it approaches its end. And lastly, we added the blur just to make up that natural motion blur 
artificially. Here is just a little message from the sponsors of today's episode. This is all about Filmora education. If you feel like you want to deep dive into Filmora, look no further because the Filmora teachers community is ready for you. The very first option that we are going to present to you is the Filmora Creator app. And this is the one platform where you find all the tutorials that you want. You just have to search a topic or else you can search your favorite creator. Maybe you like Jake or maybe you like Sally tutorials or myself and many more. The second option we present unto you is the Filmora Masterclass course which is completely free of charge. And this is currently being taught by three Filmora Masters and I can be the fourth one to give you the best editing knowledge possible. So I'm going to leave all the links down in the description below. Go ahead and possess the knowledge you deserve.